everyone welcome back to my channel my name is my dad for those of you who are new here and this is gonna be an update video to a clay so I think probably like a month ago I made a video talking about how I was getting into air clay and it's become one of my hobbies that I've kind of picked up and I've been doing so since I've made that video I've actually tried different types of air clay and I bought some new things to add to my clay station, if you will. So I thought it would be cool to kind of walk you guys through like any updates and changes that I've made, also some projects that I have completed. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. Okay, so I think for my last video, everything has kind of stayed the same. I did buy three new colors. So I had mentioned in my last video that it was really hard to be able to mix these uh, craft smart colors to make new colors. So I ended up picking three new shades. So I picked up espresso, khaki, and golden brown. And these I actually just picked them up like a couple of days ago because I uh, am redoing a project. So I will show you I feel like this video is kind of all over the place so maybe i'll start over so the very first thing that i want to start with is my finished krabby patty so this is the finished krabby patty that i have here this was entirely made up of the crayola air clay i'm in the process actually of redoing this krabby patty it was easy to make but the clay was a little difficult to work with so i finally finished it i'll give you kind of like a close-up of the krabby patty Hopefully it's not too bright. I'm sitting in front of my window. So here are all the different layers. I realize that this kind of looks a little wonky and janky, but I actually really like that. This overall was a really fun first project for me. Some of the issues that I was running into. So for example, here I have my pickles. You can kind of see right here in this corner that the pickles are starting to peel. Also like up here in this corner, the clay is starting to chip along with the paint and the sealant that I was using. And this is kind of a reoccurring issue here. So here's my onion, for example, starting to peel here in the corner. The paint has completely lifted and it's sticking to like what it's sitting on top of. So because the, the tomato sits on top of the onion like that, if it stays for too long, it'll just peel and pick up the color same thing here so here is my cheese and you can see it's starting to peel right here in the corners on the back side it started to pick up the color from the meat or the patty and then the lettuce was starting to peel back here so that was one of the biggest issues that i was running into with this first crappy patty like here's the meat the patty like starting to peel. I have made some changes since then. I'd like to show you some side by sides. Here is the new and improved onion. So for this project, for this new onion and like the new Krabby Patty, I've been using this clay here. So this is that more expensive clay that I mentioned in the last video. I bought this at Michael's. It is 2.2 pounds and it's about 11 or $12. So it's a little bit more expensive, but you can tell just in the actual like design of the clay that it's gonna be uh, better quality. So here it is side by side with the old clay. I've also used a new sealant on this one. So on this one, on the old or first model, I was using the Deco Art Triple Thick. Now, I'm using a UV resin. The new project, if you will, is going to be using a UV resin. So I just use a nail lamp to cure each project once the paint has dried. I will then run some UV resin, spread it evenly, and then I'll cure it under light. But here is another side by side. So here is the new patty and here's the old one. The only thing that I really like about the old one is the texture that you can see on here versus the resin kind of filling in the texture here. So just keep in mind that that will happen, but it overall like feels a lot better and it looks a lot glossier. It looks better. <laughs> New air clay, it's a lot harder to break where if I took this Crayola air clay and I just snapped it in half, it would snap in half and crumble. So for my new Krabby Patty that I have, I have done the Patty. 
I've done the onion, which you already saw. I also did a new and smaller cheese. So here's the cheese. For the cheese, I still have to do the UV resin on the insides and the outsides, which will take a couple of days to fully dry, even with the lamp. I've also done the new pickles, which are a little brighter. The color, I think, is distributed a little evenly. Same thing, I still have to cure kind of like the inside or like the outside of the pickles. So I will do that. I also forgot to mention that I bought this table, which you could find at Michael's for like $14. Um, and it just makes it easier to have like a surface to clean, to paint, to like kind of do play on. I'll try to zoom in or hold it closely. I'm st sitting right in front of a window, so the color might be too white. But I made a smaller lettuce. I also have my tomato that I'm working on that I want it to dry. You probably can't even see that. And then I made a new bun. So it looks a little rough on the edges, which I have to kind of just go in and sand a little bit. This one was really hard to make, I'm not going to lie. And then I also have the bottom bun. So we're almost done with the burger. I have also, just for fun, I made these really cute hearts, which have the UV resin as well. So they are a pretty hard surface. Um, and I just made a few of each. Like that. The UV resin that I've been using is this kit right here. I ordered this off of Amazon. I think it was probably like $17 or $18. So it comes with two of these sides and it also comes with a lamp. So I'm using my nail gel lamp. The watts are actually less on this one. So my nail lamp actually helps cure it faster. But this is a good option too. You just have to do it a couple of times. So one thing that I regret buying was actually epoxy. I think that's how you say it. So before I bought resin, I was wondering like what I could use to kind of like seal the clay pieces a lot better. And just, you know, because I felt like the glaze wasn't working. And I realized that the glaze wasn't really meant to be a hardener by any means. It was just meant to glaze something. I went to Michael's and I bought this one. I haven't used it because I don't think that this is what I was looking for. I was looking for a resin. So this was one thing that I regret buying. So those are all of the updates to the clay station. I really did want to update you. I'm happy I finished my Krabby Patty, but we are going to be doing a Krabby Patty 2.0 with the new clay. So if you guys are interested in that, I will try to insert some clips and I'll try to maybe post a video specifically just talking about uh, like how I'm making the Krabby Patty because I don't know if the footage that I have is enough. It's really just trial and error the entire situation. It's like sometimes I find myself, you know, kind of like kneading the clay, spreading it out, and then I find out that the clay is actually uneven. So I have seen a couple of hacks that people use where they lay down like two sticks on the side of like two sticks and then they're kind of like rolling out the dough no <laughs> you're like rolling out the clay and that's how you get like an even consistency so it's just a couple of tricks that i've been picking up from other people on tiktok and on youtube so i'm gonna try them out but i do like the idea of kind of just you know playing everything by ear and just having to do trial and error to try to you know create something so I am going to uh, include, oh, I am going to paint these on camera and do a separate video just on this because they still have to dry. That's the only thing. Like I don't think it's ready. It's still bendable. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that it turned out okay, but this is mainly just meant to be kind of like an update on where I'm at with clay. And I'm gonna try my best to kind of film a little bit more when I am doing clay. It's just really hard for me and my setup, but I will try to make an effort. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have recently gotten into kind of playing with air clay or if you're thinking about it and wanting to get started. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.